Alfred wants to be a supermodel, so he visits a fancy audition in New York, hoping for the best. There's a line of his rivals standing in the lobby. One of them is not from this planet. Can you guess who? This guy with the snake eyes. Daisy, the photographer, invites Alfred to her studio to take some shots. After a couple of days, she receives printed pictures and freaks out. Why? Take a look at Alfred's body in this picture. Both of his feet are right. Amazingly, Alfred gets his dream job. A famous magazine invited him to shoot their cover. He arrives at the studio early to get ready. Before the start of the photo shoot, Alfred looks in the mirror. Gross! There's an allergic rash all over his face. Alfred interrogates three suspects. The assistant says, I was told you're allergic to peanuts and berries, so we've prepared only safe snacks. The makeup artist says, I didn't touch your food. I put on your makeup and left for a coffee break. And the cleaning lady says, I know how sensitive models are. That's why I only use organic, hypoallergenic cleaning products. Can you guess who's guilty of Alfred's allergy? The makeup artist. Even though she didn't have access to his food, she was the only one who had access to his face, and she could put toxins in his makeup. Alfred gets hired as a model for a clothing catalog. He's asked to put on these trendy jeans. Can you count the exact number of holes in this piece of clothing? These two holes go through the pant legs, so in fact, these are four holes, not two. As for this hole, it's only on the front of the leg, plus one hole. But that's not all. These jeans also have three more holes, two on the bottom of the pant legs and one on the belt. So the correct answer is eight. Alfred stayed late in the studio to write a post, and now he's finally going home. He walks along the dark hall of the office building. Suddenly, Alfred hears someone screaming for help. The voice comes from the broom locker. He opens the door. Daisy, who closed you here? Daisy replies, I have no idea. I went to the eighth floor to eat in a Chinese restaurant, but it was closed for maintenance all day. So I decided to go home. Then someone put a garbage bag on my head and locked me in here. In the morning, Alfred interrogates five suspects. The cleaner says, I was washing the windows on the eighth floor. The makeup artist says, I was cleaning my brushes in the bathroom. The assistant says, I was helping the makeup artist, but I went home earlier. The stylist says, I had dinner in the local Chinese restaurant and then went to a concert. And the cameraman says, I was sick yesterday, so I went home early. Who locked up Daisy? the stylist. The Chinese restaurant was closed yesterday. The six friends get trapped inside the cave. Unfortunately, they had left all the food in the camp. That's why they're starving while waiting for the rescue group to arrive. Suddenly, Alfred finds five cookies in his pocket. Can you find the easiest way to divide these five cookies among six people equally? They should split the first three cookies in half and divide the remaining two cookies into three parts. This way, each person will get one half and one third of a cookie. Alfred returns from his vacation and checks his email. He sees three new job offers. Francis invites Alfred to participate in New York Fashion Week. Julia offers good money for a shampoo commercial. And Crystal offers him to be the face of a famous clothing brand. One of these employers is a scammer. Can you guess who?
Crystal, the spelling of the brand Gucci, is wrong. Alfred arrives at the shampoo commercial filming spot. He enters the dressing room and sees his actress partner, Amber. She has a short, messy haircut. Amber yells, I took a 30-minute nap and someone has cut my beautiful long hair. Alfred asks three suspects one question. What were you doing the last 30 minutes? The makeup artist says, I was streaming a backstage video for my followers. The guard replies, My coffee break started 30 minutes ago, so I went to the vending machine and bought hot chocolate. But then I received an assignment to catch a stranger with scissors. I kicked him out and returned to my workplace. And the stylist says, Oh, I spent the last 20 minutes in the toilet. I shouldn't have eaten seafood for breakfast. Can you help Alfred spot the liar? It's the guard. He bought the hot chocolate 30 minutes ago. But why is it still hot? Alfred arrives at the fashion week. He's staying in a hotel with the roommate, Billy. Alfred takes a brief look at Billy's suitcase and spots three weird details right away. Can you see them too? Why does he need the shaving cream if he uses an electric razor? The book title is printed upside down, and there's no pair to this sock. Alfred goes to a fancy party full of celebrities. Four guys want to impress him. They learn that Alfred was born in Australia. So they come up to him, tell their stories, and show some pictures. Jake says, I'm so excited to go on a road trip around Australia this summer. Peter says, I'm a travel blogger. Last summer in Arizona, I got some great kangaroo shots. Will says, I'm a super broke guy. I've only been to New Jersey so far. And Oliver says, I donate money for charity projects in Australia. Once, I saved a little koala. Who's lying? Peter, kangaroos only live in Australia. Alfred leaves the party. But suddenly, he finds out that he had left his phone in the club. He returns and questions three people standing nearby. The waiter says, I was busy with my orders. I didn't see anything. The cleaner says, I think I saw your phone on the sofa. But when I looked there again, it was already gone. And the manager says, There are no phones in our lost and found office. Who took Alfred's phone? The waiter. She has Alfred's phone case hidden in her boot. The next morning, Alfred enters the gym. He takes a look around and freaks out. Why? This lady is not from this planet. She has a completely transparent belly. Alfred is now wealthy enough to afford a new apartment. He locks all his documents and money in a safe that he found inside his bedroom, but now he can't open it. Alfred finds a list of codes nearby, but he doesn't know which one is correct. Can you help him figure out the code? These buttons are used a lot, but only the third combination includes all these numbers. Alfred goes to his granny and spends holidays in the country. There, he meets his school friend, Dan. They haven't been talking for years. Dan begins to boast, I've become a famous blogger. My videos on YouTube get millions of views. Dan shows Alfred a video from his channel, but Alfred looks at the video and immediately realizes that Dan is lying. How? The gap between likes and views is too huge. It's impossible. Dan just took a screenshot and changed the numbers in Photoshop.
that's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side. You'll have 10 seconds for each of the optical illusions. Your task will be to read the hidden number. You'll go from the easiest to the hardest riddles. Start off with an easy one for warm-up. Told you, it's 784. Moving on. I hope you were able to see the number 5346 here. Level up. How about this one? The correct answer is 725. And another one. Yes, it's 786. Now, only 5% of people can read the next three numbers. Want to give it a go? If your answer is 6012, it's correct. And here's another tricky one. It's 182. And if you saw it, you must have eagle vision. Told you it won't be easy, but try this one. The correct answer is 3708. Let's see how you handle some black and white illusions. And the first one is hiding the number 476. There you go. If that was too simple, how about this one? I hope you guessed it was 86347. And now let's test your eyes with some hidden words. You still have 10 seconds for each of them. I'm sure you figured out it's the word never. Can you read what this picture says? I can't sleep. How sad. This one is hiding the name of some month. You have to think outside the box to read it. Feel free to pause the video if you need more time. Well, the secret was to split it in half. Then you can see it's July. How about this one? It's the word run hiding in the back. Another one for you. Hope you found the gold. Here comes a tricky one. It takes some brain power to see its brain. Another one in this category. It's only getting more complicated.
If you read the word music between the lines, you must be a genius. Now let's see if you can decipher these secret messages. I give you 10 seconds for this one. Well, if someone says it's just a bunch of letters without meaning, you can easily prove them wrong. What do you see here? The power of imagination makes us infinite. Couldn't agree more. Here's another one. I hope you always desire to learn something useful. You deserve some dessert for all that mental activity. Here's just one cupcake among all those ice cream cones. Try to find it. There it is. Yum. Get a tomato to go. I can only see a bunch of apples, but maybe you'll be luckier here. Found it! There's a butterfly hiding somewhere among those flowers. Do you see it? Fantastic! It's right there! Can you find the one and only pineapple in this image? Great job! One of these colorful leaves is in fact a mushroom. Can you spot it? Well done! How about a safari to give your eyes another test? Do you see anyone hiding in these leaves? Yep, it's a chameleon. And those guys know how to blend with the surroundings. There must be a groundhog hiding somewhere in the rocks. Find it in 10 seconds. Wow, that was neat. One coyote won't do you much harm, but if it brings some friends, Better make sure this area is coyote free. Start looking for a different picnic spot. One of those guys is right here. Watch where you step. I hear there are snakes on the ground. Found one. Better be careful. I don't see anyone roaming in this territory. Let's see if you have sharper eyes. What a beautiful gazelle. Did you manage to find it? The next illusion was created back in 1860. It shows how your brain perceives depth and shapes. So, do you think the black line lines up with the blue one? If you answered yes, you're wrong. In fact, the black line stems from the red line. Now, take a look at these illusions and remember what you see first. It can tell a lot about your personality.
If it looks like a mountain to you, you're a down-to-earth person. You're persistent, reliable, and like to plan things. Overcoming obstacles makes you feel really happy. You appreciate stability and don't like to take risks. If you saw the upside-down wolf first, you're a natural leader. You keep your emotions under control even in the most stressful situations. Others admire and respect you for that. Remember, it's okay to ask for help sometimes if you need it. How about this one? If lips caught your eye first, you're realistic and always take things the way they are. You don't look for hidden meaning in what happens to you and what others say to you. It helps you get along with people well. If you notice the trees first, you're an ambitious person and a perfectionist to the core. You're never happy with just okay and will always strive to be number one and make yourself and others happy. In the case the first thing you saw was the roots, you're an extremely progressive person. You love trying all the new technology and styles. You never settle and always try to make your life better and more exciting. Here comes the next one. If it looks like a parrot to you, you're the soul of any party. You like to be the center of attention, wear something bright, talk loudly, and laugh your heart out. You have plenty of friends who love that about you. If you see a girl in a beautiful long dress, you must be the mysterious artsy type. You prefer to observe others being active and loud and get inspiration for your work. You notice little details and remember them to later put them on your canvas or paper. You have 10 seconds to decide what you see in this illusion here. If it's clearly an image of an elephant and a giraffe, you're a reliable and hardworking person. You feel responsible for yourself and your work and don't like to let others down. People appreciate you for that and share their secrets with you. If you saw some rabbits between the trees, you're not as simple as you might seem. You always think before you say or do something. You have a strategy for every life situation. It's important to you to be accepted and loved by others, so you do a lot to please them. New illusion, same task. If you see just two horses crossing a waterfall, you're an adventurous person. When someone offers trying something new or going to a new place, you're always up for it. You realize you might not like it in the end, but you'd rather try it and be sad than regret not going. In case you noticed several faces first, you always see the big picture and can find the right decision quickly. You know what you want and how to get there and never reconsider your own choices. These qualities will take you far in your career. Moving on. What a beautiful landscape, but is it hiding something? If all you see here is some sea and rocks, you're a calm and balanced person. Sometimes you're in a bad mood, but you always look on the bright side of life and move on. If you also noticed some animals drawn on the rocks, you have a great eye for detail. You always listen to both parties in a conflict before taking sides. You like doing research and drawing logical conclusions. All right, what does this one say to you? In case you're positive it's a portrait of a young girl, you're an extrovert and can't survive a day without people. You're active on social media and enjoy going to social events where you can make even more friends. If you see some horses and birds, you're more of an introvert. You love being alone outside. You have some great friends, but you appreciate your personal space. Those who see the face and the horses at once, you've got the best of both worlds. You feel comfortable at a party with a few hundred new people around and alone reading a book. 
What can you say about this illusion? Those who see a face of a woman, you're realistic and pretty content with your life. You don't expect too much from others and are ready to stand your ground if you have to. If you see a saxophone player, you often prefer your imaginary world to the real one. In your dreams, you have turned your favorite hobby into a career. Try doing that in real life. What are your thoughts on this one? If it's clearly an older man to you, you've always been wiser and more reasonable than others your age. That's why people often ask you for advice, and you enjoy helping them out. If you see a young girl and an older man in the arch, you'll always be a child at heart. Your family means the world to you, and you always ask them for advice and protection. They say seeing is believing, but is it really so? Optical illusions have a mind-boggling way to trick our brains. They use a combination of colors, light, or particular patterns that can make us see things that aren't there. Today, we're taking our brains for a test drive to see how these illusions work. If you look at this image attentively, you'll notice a moving square that appears to be changing tones. What shades do you see? Dark, then light, then dark again. Wrong! The square doesn't change color at all. The creator of this illusion is a Japanese psychologist and artist, Akiyoshi Kitaoka. According to him, you can see your own brain changing its guess about the color of the square. Color is already an illusion created by our brains. It happens so that the color is created inside our visual systems. What our eyes perceive as blue is actually a wavelength that is reflected as that color. Neuroscientists say that about 50% of our brain is involved in the vision process. Visual signals are dispersed to more than 30 areas of our brain. Each area has a special function to process color, motion, depth, and form. All this information is combined, and voila! We can distinguish shape and color. Funnily enough, neuroscientists still don't understand the details of how all this happens. And neither do we, but we sure give it a try. Moving on. Let's take a look at this staircase. It looks pretty simple, right? Well, now let's flip the image upside down. It still looks like a staircase, but instead of going from right to left, it looks like it's going from left to right. But don't blink. If you blink, the illusion will disappear and you will be left with the original image. Whoa, I think my brain just got really tired. This illusion is known as Schroeder's Staircase, and it was invented by a German scientist, Heinrich Schroeder, back in 1858. It's really simple, yet it reveals a fundamental mechanism of how our brain works. Let's understand why. If you sorta disassemble the staircase, you'll notice that the image is flat. What our brain perceives as a 3D image is just a combination of shadow and light. This means that the 3D itself is already an optical illusion. This happens because our brain captures images and tries to fit them into what it already knows. So it sees a shadow in a 2D image and it understands depth. Basically, it creates an unreal perspective of the object in front of our eyes. In this case, we call it a three-dimensional perspective. In 2020, Japanese mathematician Kokichi Sugihara took this illusion one step further. Let's take a look. At first glance, it looks just like a regular staircase again. But now, let's place an object at the top of the staircase and flip it at a 100-degree angle. I can't believe my eyes with this one. The object that appeared to be on top suddenly looks like it's at the bottom of the staircase. No wonder this work won Best Illusion of 2020. According to Sugihara, with this illusion, we are literally witnessing the way our brain tricks us into perceiving unreal things. At the heart of the illusion is a simple trick. The stairs aren't really stairs. They continue to be a flat 2D surface, making clever use of angles and shading to trick our brains. The 2D image was printed and glued into a basic 3D structure, but there is no real depth in the stairs, just the illusion of it. Got it? Look at this image for a moment and tell me how many bars you can count. 
This illusion has left the internet baffled. People have counted as many as 11 bars, but most count about 7 to 8 bars. According to the creator of this image, there are only 6 complete bars. Try counting from top to bottom and you'll notice that the upper bars are real. But by the time you get to the 6th bar, things start to get blurry and confusing. That's because the last two bars are incomplete, so when you try to count them, they appear to multiply and only leave you more confused. If you trace your pointer down the 7th and 8th bar, you'll be able to see that they are incomplete. They were only put there to confuse you. Can you tell if the dark blue lines are parallel to each other or whether they're inclined? They sure look crooked, but in reality, they're not. This classical optical illusion was first described over 100 years ago, but it wasn't until the 1970s that it got its current name. The Cafe Wall Illusion A guy named Steve Simpson noticed a similar effect on the wall of a cafe in Bristol, and here we are. Now, let's see how this works. First, let's blur the image a little bit. Oh, a little bit more. There you go. This way, you'll be able to see that the dark blue lines are parallel to each other. If you look closely, the little black and white bricks at the intersection of wide lines are what made this illusion possible. In addition to that, the curved elements inside the blue lines help to make the elusive effect even stronger. We'll understand why in a little bit. Up next, look at this black square crisscross with perpendicular white lines. If you look attentively, you'll notice that the white dots situated at the intersection of the grid shift their color from white to gray and black. When you concentrate on a particular dot, you'll see that it's white, but as soon as your attention wanders, the dot turns gray. That's the Herman grid illusion. Amazing, isn't it? We can take this illusion one step further by positioning white dots at the intersection of gray lines. All of them are placed on top of the black background. If you look at this image for long enough, you'll notice black dots starting to pop up at the intersections of the grid, creating a scintillating effect. Another name for this illusion is a simultaneous light contrast illusion. As you perceive the dots as white at one moment, and then, almost immediately, you see them as black. So, why do our senses let us down by making us see gray or black instead of white? This illusion demonstrates one of the most important principles of human perception. You don't always see things for what they really are. The retinal cells in our eyes act as light receptors. When only one cell receptor gets illuminated, it perceives more light than when its colleagues are also illuminated. This prevents the firing of nearby receptors. With the Herman grid illusion, the white lines are arranged in such a way that there's more light around the intersections than along the lines themselves. Thus, the dots at the intersections are more inhibited and you see darker spots. This next illusion is called the Pac-Man Chaser. You'll see why. Stare at the central cross for five seconds. The image appears to be in motion, doesn't it? And you might also see a green disc appear in between the lilac spheres from time to time. Now, this image allows us to witness two illusions simultaneously. Even though the image appears to be in continuous motion, nothing here is moving. We promise. This phenomenon is known as the Phi Phenomenon. It happens when stationary objects are placed side by side and illuminated rapidly one after the other, creating an illusion of movement. Now look at the center of the image again. Can you see the green disc? This illusion is called an after image. And this happens when your brain tries to substitute an item with something else as the original item disappears. But why is it green, you might ask? That's because green is lilac's complementary color. If we were to change the color of the disc to blue, then the color of the gap changes to yellow, which is blue's complementary color. Neat, right? That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.